Good morning, buddy. You gonna go on the chores with us? We got some chores this morning, Goober? Yep. So we're gonna feed the dogs and cats. So one scoop of dog food for one of the buckets. What's this? Our watering system for everybody. Uh, hey, you know, Goober, it's less than 60 out here. Yep. What? Yep. Cold. It's a hard day. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Must be 45. I'm just going to put the water right here so that I can fill it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty nice when your 12 year old can take over the chores That's and right. boss you around. <laughs> That's right. Tell you how it's going to work. It's awesome. Right? Yeah. I like it that way. Assistant. Uh oh. Why did they zip tie his shot? Oh, you zip tied it at the bottom. Do you have your Leatherman on you? Yeah, I got my Leatherman. Here they come. He's luring them over here with some feed. Yep. So then they're going to find their nesting boxes and lay. Hopefully. So how are you going to get them out of this area to shut it off? Um, well, we'll be able to shoo them back into the, okay. into there. So. Come on, let's go. Can't do this with goats. You guys used to have goats? Yes. We, what happened? They were too much like goats. They, <laughs> they were just, you know, Goats are always looking for a way to escape. They're always, when they find a, um, a weakness in anything, they exploit it. So we just, um, we just became uh, tired of chasing goats, fixing fences. Um, and the other thing is, is uh, goats can hurt you. So <laughs> sometimes trying to save the goats from themselves, it would, put us in a put the boys in a precarious position so we just decided to and we were we wanted them exclusively for milk so we figured we just cut to the chase and go for the gallons versus the quarts. And the and the dairy cow just has a much better temperament. Uh, it, it is a very large animal but very sweet uh, much smarter than a goat. Um, <laughs> yeah way much it can it, it does have an inner goat that it yep. that it can express but yep. for the most part for the most part our experience so far is it's just a it's like a large dog yep <laughs> she is sweet she can live 100 percent off the grass unlike a goat goat needs browse and you can keep her in with one single strand of electric yep. and it's better for butter she doesn't always want to touch it if she touches it like two times in a couple of spots. will always test it. No, they'll always test it every day. And I know uh, goat meat is perfectly fine to eat. We eat it, but it's not socially common here in America. So with a dairy cow, you get a socially common meat too. Beef. Yeah. Yeah, and she's gonna she's gonna calf, and obviously if it's a boy, we're gonna grow it out and. Butcher. Butcher for meat. She's she's bred with an Angus. Angus, so yeah. it'll be a Jersey Angus, so then it'll be a good. If it is a bull, it will will have a good um, type of meat. We'll have a big fat bull calf. By feeding her oats, we don't have to sprinkle the manure with uh, with yeah, oats to get the chickens to spread it. Goats kind of seem to be all the rage right now in homesteading, but some things to think about cows where they have a huge advantage is that, yes buddy, come here. Let's let's review, they have one, they can be 100% grass fed, which most people have grass and they don't have brows and brows doesn't recover as quickly. And you remember what Joel Salatin said about goats? And then you turn the goats from a browser into a grazer. Oh. And when that happens, now you start with parasites, retained placentas, uh, mastitis, uh, you know, hoof problems, all sorts of digestive health and, and, and skeletal problems because their feed is too rich. And uh, the second thing is that they're easier to keep in in a fence. The third, it's a lot easier to get butter from them. Butter, butter y'all. We need more butter in our lives. And then what's the fourth thing? Cheese. Well, he, he oh, says cheese. it's better cheese. The other one is that you get beef from these guys. 
that is basically it for the morning chores. Okay, man, that's pretty easy. Yep. Good job, buddy. Thank you so much for breakfast. Yep. Well, and dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna go pack up the bus. Aw. Bye. 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 giving everybody Thanks for hugs. coming. Aww. Oh, that's it's, a good hug, man. He's getting good at this. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Give me five. Oh yeah. Bye. Bye uh, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 It's good to meet you guys. Bye. 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 When we think of Texas, we'll always think of the Texas boys. We got here, we are in Dallas. We got to our cousin's house. We're gonna be here for Thanksgiving. Cousin JD, y'all remember him? Okay, and JD, how you feeling, buddy? Tired. We're so glad you're here. I see you're sticking with the cat shirt. Yep. Loving that. Is that a cat you know, or is that a strange cat? Strange cat. Now we are on our way to pick up some, it's Thanksgiving week. We're gonna take it easy, because we are on a bus. We're gonna go pick up some pre-made pies. Pumpkin pie? <clears throat> pumpkin pie, and then I think I was gonna get a pecan pie. The pecan pie. And then I was gonna maybe buy some rolls. But Thanksgiving this year is a little different than we normally do. This year, Thanksgiving's gonna be different because instead of doing Thanksgiving, like a big Thanksgiving meal on Thanksgiving, we're gonna do the big Thanksgiving turkey meal on Christmas. Yeah. But on Christmas, we normally do pizza. So we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do pizza on Chris. Uh, we're gonna do pizza on Thanksgiving this year. And then we're gonna do Thanksgiving on Christmas. Unrefined breakery. Going free, here we go. Look, they gave us a treat for first time visitors. There we go, we got our stuff. Good. Super easy Thanksgiving this year. Yeah. Uh, much needed car wash. Pretty much, yeah. You happy about your pie so purchases? Happy. I'm so happy. We came in with pies, we came out with Paleo. We got rolls, paleo <coughs> rolls, paleo bread, pies. I got I, I got these. I, I don't know what they are, but I thought they would be really good with um, coffee. Oh. I mean I just never I'm never around a gluten free bakery like this. It's Rest. probably a really good thing. Or maybe they'd be good. They're kinda like butter biscottis. Biscotti, I think, is what you call it. Are you gonna confess about the pizza crust? <laughs> and then I bought pizza crust. I even had pizza crust. So all you gotta do is put the canned pizza sauce on the pre-made pizza crust. With the already pre shredded Pre-shredded mozzarella cheese. Already cut, cut pepperoni. <laughs> I might Oh my goodness, you're gonna have to cut the salad. I know, you're gonna and cut make it the salad Cause you're not gonna go that far, are you? You're not gonna buy a pre-cut salad. <laughs> we're gonna have a good time in Dallas. Gonna visit our cousin JD. Up, oh, we're gonna go see Jack Spearco in his duck farm operation. We're That's gonna be good. We're having a meetup. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, then it'll be moving on. Where are we going next? Oklahoma. 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 Which we're gonna have a meetup, so we'll have to announce that. All the details for that. I like this light. It's like a disco. It's a disco. Give me your best disco dance. Mama's discoing. Oh, we gotta. I gotta be a. Come on, Josiah. Get with it. <laughs> Come on, everybody does this. Can you do that, Jessa? Put it down to the side, lift it up. Oh, uh, no more disco lights. Aw, party's over. 